Here's a real quick video on using the Mavlink Inspector in Mission Planner to view the Mavlink messages your system is producing. In Mission Planner, if you press Control F, you'll get this pop-up window where there is a message or a Mavlink Inspector button that you can click. Go ahead and press that and you'll get this window pop up. I'm going to close this control panel again and you can see it's starting to populate with different pieces of information. I'm going to go ahead and make it bigger. In fact, I'm going to snap these side by side. And so now you can expand these out. You can see the different vehicle systems that are in my, my uh, system here. Vehicle 1 is going to be where everything's at, though. So I showed you these just so you can see what's in there. But if I expand out Comp 1, you're going to see a bunch of different ones. For example, my battery status, uh, ESC telemetry, 1 to 4 and 5 to 8. I'm going to go ahead and expand those out. Um, I've got a hexacopter, so there's six motors in it. So that's why you'll see 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6 for the count. Um, and these are the number of messages that are getting received. And I've got six objects receiving messages. You can see the current RPMs, temperature, voltage that they're, they're accepting. Um, if I were to go to setup, for example, and then run a motor test, and if I just said, let's go eight seconds, let's go 10 seconds, and I'm going to test all motors at 5%, you'll see these messages start to change over here. So the RPMs are going up, voltage went a little higher, and so forth. So from what I understand, too, the current didn't actually show last time until... I drew enough current to get it to start registering. So let's try and go a little faster. And I'm still not able to get any current to show. Let's try a little bit more. Nope, no current. And if you pull open battery status, for example, you can see the battery function, mm -hmm. the remaining, the current it's pulling, the current that's been consumed in milliamp hours, the energy, the temperature, the voltages of each cell. And so, for example, the current will go up if I go ahead and run these motors again. You can see the current battery is at negative 159 right now. And then it drops back off. So that's how you can use the Mavlink Inspector to view the messages coming across your system.